Today I'm going to be reviewing the Elisab Girl of Now Forever. I have been asked by a couple of my viewers to see if I could try this and test it for them. So here it is. This is the Girl of Now Forever Eau de Parfum by Elisab. Hi and welcome back to Ellie Smells. If you want to check out some of my other videos about the Ellie Saab range and a little bit more in depth about the history, if you want to check the link up here, which is where Tim says he's going to pop it. And don't forget to like and subscribe throughout the video. So just a little bit about Ellie Saab. He was born in 1964 in the Lebanon before moving to Paris where he studied fashion. Then he dropped out and went back to Beirut and he started his own line and he's really renowned initially for his beautiful bridal wear where he used expensive laces embellishments and are just amazing so have a look at some of those anyway um he, one of his dresses i believe reportedly sold for 2.4 million which was embellished with lots of diamonds and emeralds and i have spoken to timbo and i've told him to note that in his diary as a reminder for my christmas present so I hope we'll see what happens then. I'll give you an update at Christmas. So anyway, that's a little bit about Ellie Saab. So now I'm going to talk about the fragrance. So as you will see from the bottle, it's a beautiful sort of coral juice, which just shouts summertime, exotic, tropical fragrance. And you're really not going to be disappointed with this. So the bottle itself is... A lovely chunky glass quite heavy but the top of the bottle as you will see has got a coral flower where the original eau de parfum which was created in 2017 um, has got like a turquoisey blue color but then at the bottom of the bottle it has like pleats going into the bottle and then the top is that lovely gold stopper so this was created by Dominique Ropion um, for this spring and summer and it's classed as a fruity floral. So the, they do have similarities, both of the original Girl of Now and this one contain almond. So it has those um, probably more nuggety or edible qualities to it. And I am just in love with the blotters. Just look at that. It's like one of those old windmills that you used to get, I think you'd still get them actually, that you used to get from the seaside that used to just spin around in the wind. Things that keep us happy, hey girls. Anyway, that novelty never wears off. So definitely from the beginning, when you smell this, you do get those lovely fruity notes. So in there you have lemon zest and raspberry and I think it's rose which is like sparkling and soft but really juicy and fruity and then you start going into those heart notes which you have the almond you've got um, black currant and also orange blossom so so far fruity but then you've got that almost edible quality in there but the base notes are what are going to make it last on your skin. And you have patchouli, you've got vanilla, which adds to the sweetness. Then you've got cashmere and musk. So really is definitely a fruity, exotic, almost very uplifting, very free spirit for summer. It's just going to be a fun fragrance to put on, very wearable. I can see myself spritzing this several times during the summer months because I love something that's fruity, summery, but has that quality that just lasts on the skin. So I actually prefer the Forever to the original Girl of Now. Like I say, I think the original Girl of Now is definitely more gourmandy, even though it is uh, oriental fruity. Um, so it's definitely got more nut in this one you've got like pistachio in there as well so this is definitely going to be a really good buy if you like those fruity florals for summertime so i don't know if you'll have seen my latest video which was on the chance otandra which is also a fruity floral so i would say that anybody that likes fragrances such as that or maybe the carolina herrera girl of now which has those um almondy qualities the nutty quality to it also the Narciso Rodriguez Le Parfum that one is a lovely because it has musk in it almost like a white musk so if you like those musky tones this is a nice one to try 
but it's got those uplifting sort of tropical fruit notes in this one as well. Also the Mon by Galan, that's another one which if you like essences such as those and also in the Dior Poison Girl, this is another one that I think would be a really good try. And I think with Mother's Day coming up, if she loves this sort of fragrance, this is one that you definitely need to go out try maybe take her a sample back see if it's one that she would like and uh, go and try it but definitely I would recommend this one for summer I think it's just a really uplifting easy to wear I don't know how it's going to last on my skin I think that maybe this will probably last maybe like about three to four hours not particularly overpowering definitely more of a skin scent so people have to be closer to you but then in the summer you don't want anything that's going to be too overpowering or too sort of like cloying so this definitely if you can get your hands on a sample or get into a store where they stock this um, at the moment I think it's in a 50 mil and a 90 mil so go and try and let me know what you think so really really do love this one more than the original and the shine so I would definitely recommend this one as one to go and try anyway that's it for now on Ellie Smells. See if you can pick up one of these blotters as well. And um, don't forget to uh, leave me your comments. Tell me what you think to this fragrance and maybe some of the other releases that are coming up this summer if you've tried them. Or if there's anything that you would like me to get my hands on um, and do a review on because it's always interesting to try and see what you like. Anyway, that's it for now. Don't forget to have a go and have a look at Tim's channel as well because I know that he's got some exciting releases coming up as well. So I'll see you soon. Take care for now. Bye.